Hey, what's up everyone and welcome back to another video here on the Wound Up channel. In this video, we're just going to be unboxing and taking a look at my uh, latest acquisition. This is, as you can see, a Maurice Lacroix. And if you read the title, which I'm guessing you did, you know that this is also the Icon Automatic, which is a watch that was released back in Basel of last year, so that's 2018. I've been eyeing this watch now for a couple of months and when my AD told me that he could give me a good price, I just could not resist. So, uh, well, here it is. I've had the watch now for about two or three days and I'm super happy with it. So in this video, we're going to be unboxing it and I'm going to give you my first impressions of the Icon Automatic. However, before we get into that, of course, we're going to check out what I am wearing today. Now, this is also a quite a new piece, actually. This is a, quite a unique piece that not a lot of people have. There's not a whole lot of coverage on it on YouTube or even the written sites. Um, sites. This is an Eterna Monterey Eternamatic. So this is a 40 millimeter diving watch. It's 200 meters water resistant. It's got a very high quality ETA movement that hits all of the markers quite well, actually, as you can see, that just looks fantastic. It's got this very nice integrated bracelet with a butterfly clasp. And overall, this just feels like a great everyday watch, a great beater watch, actually, as I got this watch for just $200 brand spanking you, which is just fantastic. So. So yeah, I guess you could say this is my new beater watch. So now let's regain our focus and dive straight into the Maurice Lacroix icon. So we got a very, very generic packaging here, which I am definitely okay with. So we have this cardboard outer box and then in here we have a somewhat more high quality box. And then down here you have uh, your manual and your international warranty card. Um, and not much else. So I'm just gonna put this back together for you guys. And here's the box that the watch comes in. This is a significantly heavier box than, than this one here. Uh, you have the Maurice Lacroix logo here, actually in metal, it seems, so that's high quality. And yeah, nothing too special about this box. So let's put that down. Let's got our focus here and let's open it up. And there you have the watch, the Maurice Lacroix Icon automatic. So as I told you guys, I've had it for a few days, which is why I have these link pieces here and also why the hanging tag is loose from the watch. And inside here, the watch is surrounded by this very, very soft material. So that's nice. Now let's take this out and take a look at, at the watch. Now right off the bat, I have to say this is probably the best looking watch that I've had in my collection so far. Uh, sure, the Omega Seamaster was gorgeous too, but this this just has something to it that just makes it so much more interesting. So I figured first that we'll just go through this watch's specifications just briefly, and then uh, I'm going to talk about my personal um, first impressions, and then we'll end the video. And then in a couple of weeks, of course, I'm going to give you my full-on review of this very interesting piece. So let's begin by talking about the dimensions. Uh, this watch is 42 millimeters in diameter. It's got a lug to lug distance of actually, I have to check because I have not checked this beforehand. So we're just gonna have to do this live. It's got a lug to lug distance of what seems to be 48 millimeters. As I said before, the diameter is 42, as you can see there. And of course, lastly, the thickness of this watch is right around actually just 10.8 millimeters, which is quite fantastic. So yeah, I went for the blue dial, which I think just looks gorgeous. Uh, there's also a white and a black dial available. On the front here, we have sapphire glass. The entire watch is of course made out of 316L stainless steel. It's got an integrated bracelet, as you can see which makes uh, strap choices, well, very limited. <laughs> Although this bracelet is just fantastic, so that's not going to be a problem for me. It's got a screw-in crown, which is signed and looks fantastic. Uh, this ensures 200 meters of water resistance, which actually surprised me when I, when I looked at the specifications of this watch. So that just makes this watch a perfect everyday, everyday watch. 
It's got these very, very elegant polished beveled edges here on the bracelet that go from here and then follows through onto the case and then back again, of course, to the other side of the bracelet. This just looks fantastic. The lugs, as you can see, they angle down quite dramatically, which makes this watch very comfortable on the wrist. And on the back here, you have a screw down uh, back with the movement being shown here on the inside. This is just a basic Celita SW200-1 movement, which I think is quite good actually. Um, because otherwise this watch would have either been more expensive or they would have skimped a bit on the finishing and that's just not worth it. The finishing is fantastic on this watch. The build quality, I mean, it, it definitely punches way above its price point. The movement so far has been performing to about, I want to say about plus two or three seconds per day which is also quite good, and, and uh, but of course nothing spectacular. The dial here, as you can see, has got this very interesting pattern here with these pyramids, and it just catches the light very well. So I'm very impressed with this dial. And I mean, overall, actually, I'm very impressed with this watch. I mean, for, for the price of around 1,500 euros, I gotta say, this is a fantastic purchase. Though, of course, because this is a Maurice Lacroix, it's going to go down in value quite a lot. So, um, my tip to you is that if you're interested in this watch, uh, go to an AD and try it on. And if you really like it, I mean, sure, buy it. But only if you're sure that you're not going to be selling it right after, because you're gonna take a big punch in terms of the aftermarket value on this watch. I am, however, not planning on selling this watch, so that's not a problem for me. So, so let's put it on the wrist and, and show you guys what it looks like on my 19.5 centimeter in circumference wrist. So, so here the watch is on my wrist. I think it fits my size just perfectly, although if you do have quite small wrists, again, go to your AD and check it out in person to make sure that you're not buying a too large of a watch. As you can see, the bracelet is just fantastic, gives off this very nice light, light reflections. I mean, it's, it's, just, it's just dazzling. Here you have a butterfly clasp with the, with the ML logo here. The clasp has actually got perlage work done on it, which is another very nice detail here on the Icon Automatic. So yeah, let's not make this video any longer than it has to be. More details will of course uh, be seen in the review video of this watch, which I will be making in a couple of weeks. So what do you guys think about this watch? Please do feel free to let me know in the comment section down below. Like and subscribe if you're interested in more videos like this one. And I'll see you in my next videos. Bye bye.